Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Attorney Shankar Ali for another educational video talking about changing status from B1, B2 to F1 visa. But the rule kind of applies for other kind of visas, but this one we are specifically uh, talking about changing status from, from F1. What is first the status? Status is what you get when you enter the United States, usually it's on an I-94, and in this case you will get an I-94 at the port of entry and it's going to be online. You can pull that from the uh, from the CBP website. But uh, once you get that, usually you get six months, and uh, you will want to. And now you come here and you want to change status to F1 visa. So how do you do that? Uh, first of all, you have to file uh, the form I-539, and uh, you will get that form usually on the on the website of the USCIS. Pay the fee. It's important to file at least 30 days before status expires, but don't file too long before the course starts because you might have an issue on the I-20, etc. So be careful on that. Although you can, uh, as long as you file before the I-94 expires, it should work, but USCIF recently have been very, very picky on those, so try to file 30 days before your status, which is the I-94 expires. And of course, the documents that are required copy of the relevant passport pages, relevant stamps of the I-94, which you can get from the CBP website, copy of the I-20, uh, then the, the payment confirmation, and also the um, and approved I-20, of course, and, and also the payment confirmation, like I mentioned, and also the admission letter from, from the school, a copy of your degree and your transcript, make sure you put that and you check on that. And also, uh, you need the affidavit of support. This is the I-134. And you need also a copy of your passport. You, your, the, the sponsors, uh, US, if the, your sponsor is a US citizen, you need the US passport. If the sponsor is a green card holder, you need the green card. And, uh, uh, it's, and also the bank statement of your sponsor. Your sponsor can be, by the way, in the US or outside the US. For example, your father is petitioning for you and your father is in India, Bangladesh, Pakistan. They can send you a bank statement to prove uh, that they're going to pay for your studies. But this one I'm talking about those who are getting sponsored in the U.S. by a U.S. citizen. So the U.S. citizen has to provide also his tax returns and also an employment verification letter. Note that these uh, few uh, requirements are just uh, the basic ones. Oftentimes, USCIS would come back and ask for more information, and that's how we deal with them for an IFE. And um, also, uh, the change of status from B1 to F1 is legal. It is doable as long as it's done before the I-94 expires. But uh, recently, because the student visa has is under a lot of heat, uh, many times it's good to have a lawyer help you to apply for it. Our law firm has filed many of such cases and we have been very, very successful. And if you need help, feel free to call us 510-742-5887. And the information that I provided to you today is purely educational. You should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided. You should contact an attorney if you have any questions. 510-742-5887. Goodbye. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.